Welcome to a live uh, soaking session. Uh, we're just going to sit in the presence of God. I've got no agenda, and we're just going to see what He says and um, letting His presence minister to you. I feel like right now we're in a, a moment of history where we need to ascend the mountain. You know, we really need to come up the mountain. We need to hear what He's saying. We need to know what it is that He's doing. There's so much noise going on that we need to recalibrate to what he's, uh, what the activity of heaven is right now, what the agenda of heaven is right now. You know, it's from that place that we begin to understand, you know, God, this is what you're doing. This is what you're saying about this particular issue going on in the world. And uh, without it, we're lost. Without it, we just fall into the, the trap of fear. And so this is a moment that we get to be together. This is a moment that that we get to just be with Him and um, everything else gets to fall away. So if you're listening to this right now and you're able to lay down, I encourage you to lay down. If you're able to sit down somewhere comfortable, if you're laying in bed, then that's good as well. Just get into a comfortable place where you're able to just focus on Him. You know, we get so... Uh, caught up in wanting to say something, pray something, ask something, that sometimes we forget that he's wanting to speak. He wants us to listen. He's got so much he wants to say. There are mysteries on his heart that he wants you to know. There is the deep revelations, the deep the deep thoughts of Jesus that, that he wants you to know. Just like John who used to lay his head on Jesus' breast and he, he knew the very thoughts and heart of, of, of the King of glory. Um, we as the body of Christ in this hour need to know His thoughts. We need to let go of everything that we think He could be saying. We need to know. We need to pursue Him. We need to pursue the heart of the King in this hour. The world isn't crying out for clever strategies or wisdom in this hour. It's, it's crying out for what heaven wants to say and what heaven is saying over the earth. That's what the earth is crying out for. And that's what you carry. That's what you have access to. So let's just sit in his presence a moment. That's right, Holy Spirit, we give you this space. We give you this moment. This is yours. If you've never soaked in the presence of God before, I just want to give you some just some keys. Number one, soaking isn't some extra biblical activity. Throughout the Bible, it speaks about, you know, strengthening yourself in the Lord. What does that mean? It means allowing Him to strengthen you, allowing Him to refill you, refresh you. Soaking is simply saying, God, I feel empty. I feel like I need the fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit. I need to come before you and empty myself out before you at your feet and allow you to fill me. It's the place where we go and we completely um, give him permission to remove everything that's going on. The fear, just the thoughts, the worries, the imaginations. We say, now, God, this is a vacuum that you get to fill. So right now, just imagine that you're just this, you know, that you're emptying yourself out. You're, you're, you're giving him this, you're giving him everything that's on the inside of you, that you're just pouring it out. You're grabbing everything that you have on the inside of you, the, your thoughts, the, the worries and the fears, and you're just placing them on the altar and watching them burn. And you say, okay, God, now do in me what you want to do. Speak to me. 
how you want to speak to me. I believe that where we're going, we need to raise up presence people. We need to raise up lovers of God that love Him in His presence more than, more than we love the things that He does. We need to raise up the throne room dwellers. So right now, God, we I just say right now, God, that you would stir the hearts of your people and those listening, those engaging in this moment with you. And that you would that you would begin and you would initiate and you would activate a call to the throne room, a call to the very presence of God to minister to you, God. Raise up those that would minister to you. Raise up those that are constantly thinking about how they can worship you and adore you, God. Yeah, there are people right now, I I just feel the Lord just really emptying things out of you. I just see grief leaving. So much grief and sorrow. Holy Spirit, yeah. Take all the grief away. Take all the sorrow away. Take all the grief away. Take all the sorrow. Yeah. There's people getting delivered even right now. You're beginning to feel the fire of the Holy Spirit burn deep within you. It's like, it's like you've been running from this moment because you're unsure of what was going to happen. There's been so much swirling and around you, the confusion and chaos, the words of the enemy and just the, the news and the media, and you've been struggling struggling to think right, see right. And there's been just this, there's been this heavy onslaught of oppression, anxiety and fear. And I feel like people are getting delivered right now. Yeah, yeah, just empty it out. Empty it out, empty it out, empty it out, empty it out. Shok prate ki pramanto so da la ke prosara balanda liki to loma sondaya. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You're removing it all. Every last bit. Fear, we command you go. Fear, we command you go in the mighty name of Jesus. All the mental warfare, all the mind battles, the mental warfare, it ends right now in the name of Jesus. The swirling confusion the witchcraft and the chatter that's come against your mind, it ends now in Jesus' mighty name. people just being delivered right now there are people that are feeling things lift off their shoulders you were meant to carry that yoke you were not meant to carry that burden that you have been carrying go 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 right now yeah in the name of Jesus every demonic yoke of oppression come off you in the name of Jesus. I just keep seeing minds. I keep seeing minds and the Lord is doing something in minds right now. Let me just read this scripture over you. It says in Isaiah 26 verse 3, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Say that again. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you 
because he trusts in you. You know, the word peace is shalom. Shalom. I'm going to release that over you right now. Shalom. When I pray this over people, they come into perfect peace. I've seen people become completely sober, completely in their right mind when I pray shalom over them. So for those who right now feeling the mental warfare, for those who right now been feeling the intense battle, let me pray this over you. Shalom. I decree over you, I prophesy over you, I release over you the shalom of heaven. Shalom. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding to guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. The shalom of heaven, the peace of heaven, the peace of heaven that brings security, protection, trust. Right now, you're feeling an exchange. You're feeling like fear is running. Fear is leaving. Peace is coming. Peace is coming. I sing the peace of God over the minds of those hearing. I speak the peace of God over the ones that are listening. Shalom, 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 shalom. Peace be still, peace be still in the storm. 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 Yeah, right now the shalom of heaven. Right now the shalom of heaven is washing over you. Is washing over you. Someone just got delivered right now. Someone just got delivered of crippling, uh, I just saw like panic, panic attacks, PTSD, but this is like more of an, uh, a sudden onset of panic. A panic, it's causing it just even uh, causing your body. I'm not sure if there is someone right now who's who's hearing this and you've had issues in your body, issues, um, headaches, heart palpitations, all these different things, and that's leaving you right now in the name of Jesus. Every demonic torment that's come against your mind is being broken off and it's not going to affect even your body anymore, says the Lord in the name of Jesus. Jesus. There's somebody right now with diabetes, diabetes, diabetes. I just see, I feel like the Lord is right now dealing with blood issues, blood issues. You know, we're entering into Pasach, we're entering into Passover. Uh, and, and in this time, I feel like the Lord is dealing with um, heart issues. He's dealing with blood issues. So, so for those right now listening and you've been dealing with issues in your blood, whether it's uh, hepatitis C, uh, some type of blood disorder, diabetes, whatever it might be, I command you be healed and restored in the mighty name of Jesus right now. Your blood, I speak to your blood, your blood right now be restored in the name of Jesus. You were healed by the stripes of Jesus. So Lord, let that just happen. Let that just take place in the name of Jesus. I feel like the Lord is still just doing something in the area of peace, in the area of peace. I just hear just something coming out of me. I just need to sing this over somebody. You are not in isolation. <laughs> you are not in isolation. You were in incubation. You were in incubation. So get ready. So get ready right now. Get ready. Get ready right now. You are not in isolation. You are in incubation. You are not in isolation. You are in incubation. So get ready right now. So get ready right now. This is just the beginning, says the Lord. This is not the season you thought it was. This is not the problem you think it is. Because in a moment it will be over and you'll be stepping into something that you've not even seen coming. Because I've hidden, even in this season, a, a door that you've needed to cross through. But where the enemy has warred against the body of Christ, where the enemy has warred against even your own destiny, it has only brought it forward. It is only 
brought it forward. So right now, do not see this time as isolation. See this as a time of incubation. See this as a time of encounter. See this as a time of recalibration and saying, God, what is it that you want me to do? God, adjust my eyes. Adjust, what, Lord, my assignment. What is it that you're trying to do inside of me? Because God's raising up a remnant in this hour that will see beyond the storm, that will see beyond the problem, that will see beyond the crisis, and they'll see the, the, the breakthrough. They'll see the outpouring that is already here, that's coming. The flood is here. Do you see the flood? 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 Let me just pray the flood of God, the flood of heaven over your home. I feel like God's doing something in homes in this hour. Right now, we're in our homes. We're in our homes and God's doing something. There is an, there's an outbreak and there's an expression of his heart. There is something that God is stirring and doing in his homes. I feel like he's saying, like from Isaiah 43, 19, like I'm doing a new thing. Do you see it? Do you perceive it? Do you see the thing that I'm doing even now in your midst, in your home? So right now, Lord God, I just release the flood of heaven. Lord, the flood of heaven, the flood of your glory into homes in the mighty name of Jesus. I just see it. It's almost like I just see like the winds of heaven shoo, blowing in homes and it's rearranging furniture. It's rearranging furniture. It's rearranging every part of this home. It's like it's completely changing and shifting it. And it's like the Lord is saying that he's He's doing a deep shift even in your home. Why? You're in your home. That's why you've been feeling this tension and you're like, I, I'm at home, but I'm not feeling like I can rest. I'm not feeling like I can fully just, you know, uh, relax in this time. Everyone's saying, just relax. It's okay. We're going to wait this out. And you're like, you're just saying, well, I don't feel like that because you're sensing, you're sensitive to the, the shifting and the changing, the furniture and the things that are moving and shaking. But you need to know that God's preparing your house. He's preparing you. He's preparing your, your, your family for increase that's coming. He's preparing your family for impact, for conquest. And he's doing it right now. I feel like he's saying, don't look at all the fear. Do not get your eyes distracted. Don't start trying to create another avenue to escape the reality of what's going on in the world. But simply position yourself in his presence like right now and let him just breathe over you. Let him speak over you. Let him wash over you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little soaking session. Um, this is something that I just feel like that God is doing in this hour and I just want to be obedient to do it. I just um, ask if God did anything in this time, please let us know. But continue right now to just soak and be with Him. Just continue just to sit at His feet. Continue just to worship Him. Continue just to... Do business with God, whatever it is that you feel like that you need to do. If you're feeling like there is breakthrough about to happen, you feel like you're on the border or the brink of that, then sit in his presence. Say, God, this is this is my moment just to empty myself and allow you to fill me. So let me just pray over you, Holy Spirit, come into every home and every life and every person that's been listening. Every person that right now is just Laying down, Lord God, every single person that has just positioned themselves for encounter. Lord, let this continue even beyond the music, even beyond this video, God. Let it just become the norm for them. Let the presence of God fill their lives and homes. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.